Happening now, Hurricane Beryl is hammering Jamaica. This is a live look at the storm as it pounds the island. The storm side brushed the southern coast today. The storm has killed seven people throughout the Caribbean. In Jamaica, power has knocked out much of the power in the capital. The country has been declared a disaster zone and a curfew is now in effect. CBS 2's Alicia Reed has more from people on the island, including her own family. Whipping winds and heavy rain. And as residents do their best to protect their property and valuables from flying debris and fallen trees. I have a few around my house um, that have already fallen one on my house. Workplaces closed early on Tuesday as the country braced for potential destruction on guard after watching the hurricane wreak havoc on other Caribbean islands. The supermarkets were filled, persons were stocking up on water, um, gasoline. We are stocked up on the usual batteries, um, portable water. Members of my family are currently vacationing in our homeland, buckling down as the unpredictable storm makes its way through and not knowing when they'll be able to return home to Westchester. We're also worried as to whether or not we'll be able to make it out for our flights because apparently some roads may have been damaged along the route to the airport. Here in New York, Flatbush, Brooklyn has a large Jamaican community. We caught up with some who are concerned about their family members back home. Very worried is our again. How long it will be and how devastating it's going to be. There's concern access to rural areas may prove problematic once the storm passes. You're expecting that trees are going to fall, roads are going to be impassable, and land slippage is going to happen. I'm praying for Jamaica and the Caribbean. The prime minister says Jamaica will remain a disaster zone for the next seven days. The Cayman Islands and Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula are next in line for Hurricane Beryl. Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.